Hi everyone and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be looking at how you extract 50 million litres of water a day out of a tunnel. The tunnel in question is the Severn Tunnel and it forms a critical part of the trunk railway line between southern England and South Wales and carries an intensive passenger train service as well as significant levels of goods traffic. It's estimated that around 200 trains per day use the tunnel. The whole length of the tunnel is controlled as a single signal section, which has the consequence of limiting the headway for consecutive trains. There is a continuous drainage culvert between the tracks to lead groundwater away to the lowest point of the tunnel under Sudbrook pumping station, where it is pumped to the surface. The hazard of ignited petroleum running into the culvert in the event of derailment of a tank wagon means special arrangements have to be made to prevent occupation of the tunnel by passenger trains whilst hazardous liquid loads are being worked through. Evacuation arrangements are in place to enable the escape of passengers and staff in the event of serious accidents within the tunnel. There is restricted personnel access to the tunnel at Subbrook pumping station where an iron ladder descends into the shaft of the water pumping main. The ventilation air is pumped in at this point also. The Great Western Railway original ventilation arrangement was to extract air at Subbrook but the exhaust gases from steam train operation led to premature corrosion of the fan mechanism. When the Cornish pumping engines were replaced in the 1960s, the drafting was reversed so that the atmospheric air is pumped into the tunnel, exhausting at the tunnel mouths. On average, it is determined that around 50 million litres per day of fresh spring water are typically being pumped from the tunnel. This is normally released directly into the adjacent River Severn. Attempts have also been made to try and determine the sources of the water which feeds the Great Spring, which they found during its construction. The especially difficult conditions for infrastructure maintenance in the tunnel, as well as the physical condition of the tunnel structure, require a higher than normal degree of maintenance attention. Access and personal safety difficulties mean that significant work tasks can only be performed during temporary line closure, during which trains are normally diverted via Gloucester. British NGO Engineering Timeline stated that the tunnel would be full of water within 26 minutes if the pumps were switched off and backup measures failed. While Network Rail has also observed that the corrosive atmosphere of the tunnel, produced from a combination of moisture and diesel fumes from passenger trains, results in so much corrosion that the steel rails need to be replaced every six years. So there you go folks, there is how you extract 50 million litres of water a day from the Severn Tunnel and you would not want them pumps to fail, would you? So I do hope you've enjoyed that short look at the Seven Tunnel and also the complications in building it and the high levels of maintenance it needs. If you have, please do like and share my video and also subscribe to the channel if you are liking the videos. And until the next video, please take care of yourselves and goodbye for now.